Mr. Shea's room. Oh, hello, Mrs. Eby. Okay, I'll be right there. Mrs. Mellinger, I have some super top secret news I need to share with you. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. I've been chosen to go undercover to investigate Dr. Gambler's guitar buying and selling operation. Apparently, his room has been the center of some shifty business, and Mrs. Eby wants me to get to the bottom. Count me in. Good. I need all the help I can get. And you just don't know who you can trust around here. So, what's the plan? I thought we could start by sneaking into his room after school to see what information we can gather. I also thought we'd better come up with some super cool code names for ourselves. Yes, of course. I can be Flag Goddess, and you can be Grammar Geek. Wait a minute. I'm the lead in this investigation, and I think my name should be something mind-blowing like Sledge. Whatever, we can work this out later. I have a class to teach. Sure you do. I have teacher work to do also. Similes, metaphors, persuasive essays, etc. Okay. So, what's the scoop? Apparently his students think that his guitar operation is legit. But I still have my suspicions. Well, he often leaves the building around 3 o'clock, so we can check his room out then. What do you think about Lady Liberty and Casanova for code names? Yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. I'll meet you outside of his room at 310. Okay. Oh, you're here already? Yes, you are seven minutes late. No, I just shifted all the clocks back seven minutes to give myself extra time. Then shouldn't you have turned them the opposite direction? Oh, I see you just want to do things the easy way. What? You aren't making any sense. Really? Aren't I? Or are my thoughts just so complex that your brain is not capable of processing them? Yeah, maybe that's it. I'm glad you agree. Is it safe to go in? Yeah, the coast is clear. Oh my gosh. What? Look at this. 50 ferrets for $300, 10 ferrets per guitar case, twenty three ninety seven for shipping and handling. What does this mean? He must be using the guitar business as a front for a ferret smuggling operation. I always knew there was something off about him. We will need to find out more before we take this to Mrs. Eby. Like what? I think the first thing we should do is try to locate where he is storing all these ferrets. Look, there he is. Did you ever notice that door before? No, I wonder where it could possibly lead. Where are we? I have no idea. Look, there's someone over there. Maybe he can help us figure out what's going on. Excuse me, but may I ask where exactly we are? Is he a Michael Jackson impersonator? It appears so. It also appears that he is a midget. What was that about? Look. Is he supposed to be David Bowie? I guess. We'd better split up. Call me if you can find out what's going on. Oh no, he's on to me. I never thought this day would come. I guess I'll just have to take him out. Oh, there you are. Did you find out anything? <laughs> Better get out of here. That was a close one. He must know that we're on to him. If we're going to get to the bottom of this, we're going to have to try something different. I think we're going to have to take some covert action on this one. Did you have anything in mind? Well, I could pose as an online client looking to buy ferrets from my ferret farm. You don't have a ferret farm. He doesn't need to know that. That would be lying. I think I could handle it. I don't think that I could be a part of anything so surreptitious. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to do this alone. I'm sorry I got so upset before. How are things going on the undercover front? I'm still waiting to hear back from him. I'm still working on a plan B. That's good. 
He might be suspicious now that he knows we're catching on. This may be true, but he is no match for my intellectual brilliance. Sure, assuming this is true. How are you planning on proving this to Mrs. Eby once you catch him? I hadn't really thought that far ahead. I just assumed she would believe me. It's Doc Gambler. He wants to meet in person to work out the terms of the deal. Well, that's not going to work. He must suspect something. Think of an excuse to get out of it. I'll tell him that I'm an agoraphobic. No, scratch that. I'm a leper. That also explains why I would collect ferrets. What does leprosy have to do with ferrets? I don't know. They're both pointless and repulsive. Well, just get back to me after you figure something out. Hello there, Mrs. Mellinger. You look pretty surprised to see me. Oh, well, you know, um, how it is. It's been a long day. It sure has. I was looking for you and Mr. Shade earlier to ask you something, but I couldn't find you anywhere. Well, it's a big school. That's true. So where were you? Oh, you know, here and there. Yeah, okay, I'll see you around. What were you going to ask us? Let's see. I can hardly remember anymore. Like you said, you know uh, how it is. Mr. Shade, you would never guess what just happened. Oh, I think I might. Dr. Gambler was just inquiring as to where we were earlier today. So I've heard. I was telling him about our secret underground magic meeting that we were at, with all of the hexes and sewing people in half and other magic things. Like I told you, we were around the school. We were doing, well, teachery things. Okay, then. I'll be back when I remember what I was going to ask. I guess he's trying to get information out of us. Did he see you writing the email? No, I don't think so, at least. I exited out of it as soon as he walked in. Good. Not really. Now I have to retype it. I think that it is acceptable. What's the alternative? Him having proof that we're on to him. If he sent the ferret, he must already know. Sure, but does he know we know he knows that we're on to him? All right. So what was your excuse? What? What was your reason that you couldn't meet with him? I'm a leper, remember? Maybe we don't need an excuse. Then we would have to meet with him. Then he would know that we know that he knows, or whatever you said. Yes, but then we would also have proof to show Mrs. Eby. Okay, but this better work. If he catches us, then it's all over. It will work. Tell him that you will meet him at the Dairy Queen at 5 o'clock. Tonight? Yes. Why the Dairy Queen? If you make it too close to the school, he will be suspicious. If he sees it as you, then he won't come. He will have to hire someone to pose as the customer. Where are you going to find someone who is willing to do that? I don't know, maybe a hobo under a bridge? If it isn't you there, then how are we going to get the information? We could have him wear a wire. You need to find someone by 5 o'clock. I'm on it. Are you the customer? Yes. I usually don't require meetings like this, but some suspicious things have been going on lately. We need him to admit some information about the ferrets. I told the hobo. I mostly collect male ferrets. I find that they really get me. If you have the money, we can do an exchange here tomorrow. Come back with that camera. Stupid ferrets. <laughs> no, stop! I'm your leader! What do we do now? I don't know. What are we going to tell Mrs. Eby? We will tell her the truth. <laughs>